Hi everyone, welcome to our second installment of setting up your WordPress account and posting our WordPress practice story assignment. Um, as you can see here, we're in uh, our WordPress uh, page, wordpress.com uh, slash WP hyphen admin, where we left off in the last video. Uh, we've clicked on the posts area here, and you can do add new either here or up here. Uh, to add our story in. So click on Add New. And it'll give you the interface. Uh, your headline goes or title goes up here. Um, and I'm going to ask you to work out of the text mode over here uh, on, on the main interfaces where your story and all your multimedia will go. Um, on your desktop uh, should be the WordPress practice uh, story assignment that's up on our uh, Google Drive. If you haven't downloaded that, just hit pause. Uh, and save it to your desktop. Um, there it is. Uh, if you see uh, all the steps I'm going to walk you through are also uh, listed here on the assignment. Uh, and at the bottom, there's a story. This uh, story starts with the editor's note and goes all the way down uh, to the end here. So I want you to copy that out of the WordPress document or out of the Word document and cut and paste it right in this little field here. You can add bold-faced uh, or italicized items by highlighting the text and clicking the B or the I tag over here, and it'll drop the tags in that bold-face the text. So take a second to do that. And now that we're back, uh, we're going to add in uh, tags to the story and a headline. Uh, your headline typically is five words, subject, verb, object, structure. Uh, so in this case, uh, I'm just going to type in practice post just to have a headline to hold there. Um, and also hit pause right now and uh, read through the story so you get a good idea of what this story is about. It's always a good uh, uh, thing to do, a uh, good practice uh, when you're updating things for the web. So go ahead and hit pause and read through the story. All right, welcome back. Now that you've read the story uh, and know what it's about, you can add what we call tags. Tags are keywords that help people find your story, both in WordPress.com search and in Google search, uh, as well as other search engines. So down here on the right-hand side uh, of your interface, you can see you have tags. Uh, think proper nouns. What would people search for to try and find this story? So Governor Pat Quinn would be one. Um, I would also put in map grants, college tuition. I put in DePaul probably because that's where it's kind of set, as well as four or five others. Uh, you can have anywhere from you know six to eight tags uh, in all. Um, you can add more if you like, but that's typically what, what we add. I'll get to categories uh, a little bit later in class, um, but a good habit to get into after you've updated the story and done a few things with it is hit Save Draft. Save Draft will save it into the CMS, so in case your browser locks up, uh, you won't be losing any content. So if you hit Save Draft early and often, um, you'll never have to worry about losing your assignment. The Publish button, um, and if you'd be, you'll have this Publish button here if you've gone into your email, your Gmail, uh, and confirm the account uh, when you set up your account. If this publish button isn't here, you need to go into your email account and confirm uh, the WordPress uh, email that they send you. If you hit the little uh, button, it will uh, save it for you uh, and you'll be able to publish content. So publish is what we hit last. That's what moves it up to the live website. Um, you can preview your story by clicking here. It'll kick over to a little preview interface and it'll show you what the story uh, would look like uh, if it were up on the web. It's not actually live on the web yet. It's actually still just in the WordPress CMS. Our next step is we're going to add a photo and a cut line to this. Um, and one of the photos that I have up on week one of your Google Drive uh, is this Governor Quinn fist photo. Uh, so we're going to add that photo in off the desktop. To do that, uh, click at the top, very top of your story and click on Add Media. And you have a media library here that you can pull past uh, photos uh, in with, uh, or you can upload a photo from your desktop, which is what we're going to do here. Click on Upload Files, this little tab I'm hovering over. And then you can click on Select Files or just grab uh, the photo and drag and drop it right into the interface. It'll pop in, 
And keep in mind, too, uh, I give you on this handout uh, of, uh, with the story a little cut line under step six uh, that you can take and cut and paste uh, into the caption area. Um, so cut and paste that in. I'll just type in the words cut line there. And alt text, Pat Quinn photo. And I always type in the name of the subject in the fo word photo for the description. Um, because this is alt text, it helps, pe helps search find the photo and tell uh, what's in it. Um, it gives you some default settings down here, alignment center, and we want to go with full size. You can align it left or right. Um, click insert into post and you'll see this code kind of shows up there. If you want to kind of see what the photo and the caption look like, um, click on visual and you have the photo uh, and then your cut line credit would appear uh, right underneath it. But I always work out of the text mode because if I'm going to embed content, that's the place I want to go to do it. Um, so now we have our story and a photo. We want to add in a couple of videos. You might see in all caps here, post first YouTube video here uh, and delete this text. This is just a little space holder where I suggest you uh, post these two videos under step seven uh, on our assignment. There's a couple YouTube videos here. Uh, so we're going to take these and post these. This is the first video. Um, this is of uh, Governor Quinn talking. And to get to it, you click on share and then click on embed and grab this little iframe code here and copy it. Okay, and then you go back into your interface in WordPress, delete out that holding text and cut and paste your iframe in there. Do the same with the video down here. Okay, I'm gonna click share, embed, and grab this iframe and move it into the interface right here. I'm going to save draft again as I've done a little editing on the site or on the page now. Um, so we've got photo and some video embedded in. And keep in mind not all things will embed. You know, YouTube video, uh, Google Maps embeds fine, but sometimes there's, there's uh, some different graphic interfaces and stuff that won't embed quite so well, so you'll just have to link to those. Um, and I'll show you how to link in just a minute. Um, the last thing we're going to, or next thing we're going to add here, uh, is add a poll. Um, and to add a poll, you click at the end of the story, uh, is typically where I put them. Um, click on Add Poll, which is in the little toolbar up here. And click Add New. And a good poll question for a story about this. Uh, should funding be increased for MAP grants? And then give them answer options, yes and no. Try to avoid maybe and things like that. It gives you different styles of polls. Um, I'm going to go with the wide, kind of the dark gray. There's some funky designs of some of these. So, you know, try and keep the design simple like this. It looks better. And then click on Save Poll over here on the right-hand side. It'll say that the poll's been created. Click on Embed and Post. And it'll just drop this little short code in uh, at the end of uh, the post. So now I can click Save Draft. And then I'll click Preview. I just want to see what it looks like out on the web with the video and, and photo and everything. Um, so the Preview mode will kick in. And it'll show us the... Uh, a uh, little embed too with the uh, poll. So as we click through here, we've got photos, videos, and then our polls right down at the end. You know, it's always good to hit play on your videos to make sure they work okay. Uh, you also double check links if you've added links in. Um, links are, are an important part of posting a story. Um, this is an example of one I've pre-posted this story. Um, monetary award program. Um, this links off to more background on MAP grants, which is a very important. Um, other link, possible links could be a, a link to Pat Quinn, the governor, um, uh, out of your story. And to create links, it's very easy. All you do is highlight the word that you want to link from. Okay, so highlight that. And then you can go and Google uh, Pat Quinn's bio. And I took it off of Ballotpedia. Try to avoid Wikipedia, but Ballotpedia is reliable and click on this little link button 
cut and paste the link in. This way you know there's no typos in it. You won't have a broken link and click add link. Okay. Now do the same thing for the monetary award program. Um, you can go ahead and hit pause and Google monetary award program. Here's a link that I found off of Google search. And I'm going to hire monetary, highlight monetary award program and click on link again. And I always click open in a new tab so it opens in a new tab on your browser. It doesn't take you away from your website. The other thing I like to do if I have a longer story like this, I like to go about three paragraphs in and add a little continue reading jump link. This is important for your home page so your entire story doesn't appear on the home page, just uh, for the first few paragraphs. And to do that, go down to the third paragraph in the story. And then you're going to click on this little more button right here. So click on more. And then save draft. This will allow just the first three paragraphs in the photo to appear on the home page and the rest of the story will jump uh, to a lower level page. Now it looks like we've got our story pretty much done. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit publish now. And this will publish the story to the live web. So it's saving. And the minute you hit that publish button, you need to go out to your live website and uh, take a look at the home page. Um, so in this case, uh, it, you know, whatever your name is, whatever you named your WordPress uh, site, .wordpress.com, hit return. And there you see your post, photo, the start of the story, continue reading. Okay, click on that. That'll take you to the full story off your home page. And there you can scroll through and you can see your links. You know, you want to double check your links to make sure they work okay. Um, always, always, always check any, double check any link. Uh, you want to play your videos to make sure they work. And you also want to test your poll out uh, to make sure it's working as well. So uh, if you follow all these steps, uh, you'll do fine on this assignment. Um, if you have any questions, email me. I'll do the best I can to answer them over uh, uh, the break here when you're uh, doing this assignment. Uh, we can also go over a few of these steps in class. Uh, and keep in mind too, these steps that I've uh, included in this video are also listed in this WordPress practice uh, story post assignment uh, document. So you can just open that up and all of the steps are, are listed right here. So uh, that should work just fine for you. Thanks.